When I ask this question, where are your contacts? I often hear this. They're in my, they're in my cell phone or they're in my iPhone or they're in my Android. And that's not, a, that's not a specific enough answer. If you ask me where my contacts are, I'm very clear that they are in my Burris Consulting Gmail contacts, uh, which is a Google account. Simply saying they're in my iPhone tells me you don't have enough control over your contacts and you risk losing your contacts if you lose your cell phone and or if you lose your cell phone number. Or you, and so what I recommend you do is be very specific about where your contacts are. Now let me show you how to figure this out. Go to uh, con, uh, settings, here's settings. In settings, go to contacts. Now if you look at my contacts, you'll see I have six different accounts on my cell phone. I have iCloud, Netcom Score, BCI Testing, TLB Business, which is my business account, and NC Wiseman, six different accounts. But if you come back to the contact screen, you'll see that my default account for contacts is TLB Business. If you click on that, you'll see I could make my default, which this is where all of my contacts go when I add a new contact to my cell phone through the cell phone contacts app. I could put them in score, NC Wise Man or iCloud. And if you don't know where they are, they're probably in iCloud. And hopefully you have your iCloud account set up so that you can get to them and manage them. But again, I chose to put my contacts in my Google account, my uh, Burris Consulting Google Workspace account. And the reason why I want them there is so I can get to those contacts from any device. Let me repeat, I can get to those contacts from any device, including my Chrome web browser where I manage my email. Now, again, you can make whatever choice you want as long as you know where they are and how to get to them. And so I'm gonna uh, save this video off. I'm gonna go to my web browser and I'm gonna show you in iCloud, if you are in fact saving them in iCloud, how you can manage them there and or get them out. Hang on, I'll set that up. Now I'm gonna to go to iCloud, which is the Apple uh, system for managing uh, lots of stuff. And I'll show you what that is in a minute. I'm gonna sign in. I've gotta give it a code. I do like this two-factor authentication trust so now I'm in iCloud you can see on these 12 dots over here or right down here here are the different apps that are available through iCloud uh, including where is it find my iPhone there it is find my iPhone find my iPad find my MacBook etc etc but I'm gonna go to contacts so if you are in fact saving your contacts to your cell phone, iPhone specifically in this case, and you have a Apple account, you probably have iCloud enabled and that's where all your contacts are going. And that's all well and good as long as you know your iCloud login, you can get to it, and you can manage them from there. The only reason or one primary reason that I would say put them in your Office 365 or your Google account is so that you can get access to these contacts when you're using uh, Office 365 tools or Google Workspace or Gmail tools from a web browser or from another interface. If all you want is them to be on your iPhone, that's okay. Again, I reiterate the importance of knowing your iCloud login and making sure it's secure and do not lose login or access to that iCloud account. And furthermore, don't lose that cell phone number. 
If you lose the cell phone or destroy the cell phone, replace the cell phone under the cell phone account so you don't lose the number. If you intend to lose a number or if you lose a number inadvertently, before you move forward, find a way to get all your content contacts included out of that account before you set up a new cell phone number. Now, if you want to move your iCloud contacts to another uh, uh, device or interface such as Google Contacts or Office 365 Contacts, this is how you do it. Go in here and do a Control A and select all of your contacts. I happen to have 2,784. Then come down, this is on the web browser, come down the bottom left hand corner and export out the V card. Now you can see I've already done it, Contacts 2 is the V card. So export them all out. Now, once you've done that, then what you can do is go to, I'm gonna go to Google Contacts. And what I can do right here, I can create contacts. This is the, this is the Gmail interface, create contacts, create multiple contacts, which is also gonna give me, it's over here as well for an empty account, import contacts. I can select the file, Go get the iCloud contacts. I actually have two of them here. Let me select the smaller one. Collect, select the one you want to import. Hit open. And then hit import. And it'll import all of those contacts, regardless of how many they are. It'll import them into Google Contacts like I just did just now. And you can use them on, again, in Google Chrome. Um, in your email, in messaging, and calendars, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what you ought to do if you're going to make that switch is go back to the cell phone, go back to contacts, and change the default account that you're storing your contacts in. And furthermore, once you've done that, you could come back here and select all these, hit the sprocket, and you can delete them all, as I'm going to do right now and make them all go away because I no longer need them there. This should be gone, this is gone, and this is gone. And I'm okay with that because I've imported them in here. And again, I'm gonna go back to my cell phone and change the default account for contacts. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you. And the next time someone asks you where your contacts are, you're more clear about their location.